Every month, we visit with the Small Business Development Center of McLean County at Illinois Wesleyan University. They have been in business for roughly a year, about a year. And uh, joining us here in studio is the assistant director of the SBDC, Caitlin Hill. How are you? Thanks for having us here today, Mark. Oh, love having you in the studio, loving hearing the stories about uh, the work uh, that you're doing with these small business launches, and we're going to be introduced Mm -hmm. during today's segment to a small business launch that the Small Business Development Center worked with, right? Yes, we are. Yes, we're very excited about that. We've actually had uh, three new businesses open here in the first quarter of 2018 this year already, and we're working with quite a few more in the coming, um, in this quarter currently, and and, uh, planned for the future months of this year. So we're very excited to be able to feature those clients. Tell me uh, the backstory for this particular business. We're going to meet uh, the proprietors, the owners, in uh, another part of this Mm -hmm. segment. But tell me a little of the backstory and uh, what the Small Business Development Center was able to do to help them to launch their business. Yeah, so this client in particular came to us, um, I would say, probably about two months ago now, maybe a little bit more. And, um, and you know, they, ha- they said, we have a lot of experience in our field. We, we've done this for a long time, and we really, really um, are ready to go out on our own now. They had done a lot of research, a lot of thought that was put into their business idea um, and their plan. Um, but they really needed um, a confidence boost and really just some assistance in getting that business plan put together, uh, which is what we see from a lot of our clients in the community. And so we worked together really closely for a while until they were ready to start up. Up and now they're opening, and uh, they're, they're already open and ready to service their clients. So we're really excited to share a little bit more of their story later. The uh, name of the business is DNM Mechanical. They're plumbing, heating, and cooling. And there are a couple of guys who've been working in that area for many years and mm-hmm. always had the dream of having their own operation, right? And, and people Absolutely. like, they know the nuts and bolts, literally, but it's the business side of it. It's, the, uh, it's all of that, the front office kind of stuff that uh, you help them with. Absolutely, absolutely. And that tends to be the the case, like you said, Mark. A lot of our clients have a lot of experience in their field, and we hope that they do. Of course, we are not um, you know, specialists in one specific area, but we, um, we can really assist with that business planning, with the uh, with the front office end, you know, the accounting, the, the financing of the business and all of that. So uh, we can help um, our clients put those pieces together, and that's what we've done with DNM Mechanical. So I'm really excited for them to be able to share their story. All right, and we're going to meet them mm-hmm. in uh, the second half of our interview segment here in our small business development center segment that we do each month. Uh, But you also want to help maybe some small businesses that are listening. You work with everyone if they reach out to Mm -hmm. you. We should remind people how they can get in touch with the Small Business Development Center. Absolutely. So uh, the best way to get in touch with us is to visit our website. Um, that's www.iwu.edu slash sbdc. And we have all of our information on there about how to contact us either via email, via phone, um, or you can actually register to be a client right on our website there. So um, you can find the form to do that um, and become a client, and then we'll reach out and set up an appointment for you to meet with us. We talked about d Mechanical, mm-hmm. and we're going to meet them. They're uh, Dan Riddle and Mick Fleming. That's what the D and the M stand for. Yep. So very clever name to their yep. new company. <laughs> Easy enough to remember. Um, but you've had some good results in the first quarter. You said you got three startups yep. in the first quarter alone. Tell us, uh, just just give me uh, some of your information about your first quarter results. Yeah, absolutely. So we, um, like Mark mentioned, we have about three businesses that have opened this first quarter. Um, we have um, 57 new clients just here in the first quarter. So we've already seen over 100 clients, some of those existing from the previous year and 57 new um, small businesses and entrepreneurs in the community coming to us to ask for assistance. Um, so we're very excited about that. We have over $380,000 of economic impact that has been created by our clients, um, by the equity that they've invested in their company, by their sales and their profits to their company. So we're, again, very excited about that. Um, and then we also worked with over 60 students between Illinois Wesleyan and Illinois State. And I think we talked about that a little bit last uh, month when we were here. Um, but we had multiple different seminars, and um, these students worked with some of our clients to help them develop um, their business more and on the marketing front, as well as with um, IT and information technology with their websites. So um, we're really excited to be able to partner as well, um, the students in um, at Illinois Wesleyan and Illinois State with our clients. Um, and just help those students get that real business experience. Yeah, you uh, also work with existing small mm-hmm. businesses. It's not just Absolutely. about launching new ones like with D&M, mm-hmm. but uh, also working with 
existing small businesses, sometimes they they want to expand. Mm-hmm. They're not exactly sure how to go about that. Absolutely. So, yeah, we have plenty of clients that come to us and say, I've been in business for a year. Maybe I've been, been in business for 30 years, and, you know, I need to get up to date with technology. I need to increase my sales and update my marketing. I really need to uh, make a transition in my business. Maybe I'm looking to sell my business or, um, or purchase another business. And so we have uh, many clients that come to us in that stage as well, and we can help with a variety of, of stages. So um, we're really eager to be able to do that for uh, McLean County. All right. Uh, you have come armed with a tip of I the sure month. have. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we are going to share a tip of the month now every month with Mark. And this month is uh, don't be afraid to charge what you're worth. Uh, we really feel like uh, this is one of the most challenging pieces of, of um, developing your business plan is the pricing piece. Um, but it's also one of the most important pieces um, that really determines, of course, your profitability for your business. So, um, you know, I encourage our clients to think about, um, you know, what their product is, who their customers are, uh, what their marketing looks like, um, and really price that uh, product or service that they are offering uh, properly. Do you run into that a lot where people, they're not exactly sure what they should charge? They, it depends on the business, of course, but maybe they'll think, you know, I really don't know what is fair. And then that's something that you can help them gauge? Yeah, I think it's a little bit of both. I think some people um, do have a challenge uh, finding that research to understand what the best price is. I think that more so some of our clients um, don't feel confident enough to, to, to serve uh, or to um, charge a specific price. And so I, again, encourage our clients to think about their experience, their knowledge in that field, and um, don't be afraid or fearful that your customers may not choose you if you um, are charging a, a, an adequate price. Um, you know, you have to be able to charge that price to be successful in your business. And so have the confidence to do that. That's Caitlin Hill. She's the a, the assistant director of the Small Business Development Center of McLean County at Illinois Wesleyan. We're going to take a break here, and when we come back, we're going to meet two gentlemen who started DNM Mechanical Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling two months ago. Their company didn't exist, but with the SBDC, they were able to get it off the ground, and they're now going out on service calls. 222, 88 degrees at WJBC. I'm Mark Strauss. This is the Midday Show. We continue now with our Small Business Development Center of McLean County at Illinois Wesleyan University segment. That's a long name, Mm -hmm. but I got it. I did it without... You did a great job. Without, without making a mistake. And we're going to bring in now uh, this new small business we've been telling you about, D&M Mechanical. They do heating, cooling, and plumbing. Uh, they are Mick Fleming and Dan Riddle, and they join us here in our WJBC studio. Well, first of all, gentlemen, congratulations on your new business. I know that uh, between you, you've got 40 years' experience in this area, and it's always been a goal of yours to have your own heating, cooling, and plumbing outfit. So uh, how long have you been in existence now uh, we've actually been open uh, right at six weeks now this is our sixth week in business and we've been very fortunate to be very busy right out of the um, right out of the shoot actually I mean we had a little bit of a lag the first week but ever since then it's been going like gangbusters we've been in and out of calls all day long seven days a week 12 hour days whatever it takes to get to our customers you you launched with the help of the small business development center explain what it is that they provided you with and why you approach them to help you get this off the ground in the first place. What I got out of it was um, Caitlin actually gave us the confidence and the resources to reach out to even get the things we needed that we had no idea where to find. What were some of those things? What were some of those questions you had? Basically, where to get a small business loan and how to approach a bank. We would have had no idea how to approach a bank without Caitlin's help. So what did you find out? What's what's a tip you can give uh, some people who might have the dream of starting a small business that you found out about securing a small business loan? The thing that I absolutely would stress to anyone is to be prepared as thoroughly as possible, like to be realistic in your expectations and your goals for your business. Uh, with sorry. Caitlin's help, she helped us develop a realistic business plan. And even more important than that, as far as going to talk to the bankers, a realistic um, cash flow projection. We did kind of a best-case scenario, worst-case scenario, and 
what we truly thought, like down the middle, what we our business could actually produce. So when we went to speak with bankers, um, we were prepared. We were able to explain things. We were able to explain how we came up with the numbers. And every banker that we had the chance to speak with um, made a comment about how thoroughly prepared we were and how impressed they were with our ability to explain things. And we didn't even know what a cash flow projection was before we met Caitlin. So they yes. gave you the blueprint for that and uh, tied to your knowledge of what it is you do for a living and have been doing for somebody else all of these years you were able to make that presentation absolutely and caitlin actually for our final meeting with her she brought in a retired banker and we got to do like a mock proposal to the banker that caitlin brought in and get feedback from him and it just caused our confidence to skyrocket so when we went on d-day we called it to go actually talk to the bankers and see if our dream could become a reality we were confident we were calm we were collected because we knew we could do this because we'd already done it with Caitlin. If you're going to start a plumbing and heating and cooling business like both of you have, uh, you have to have equipment for the first day of operation, and that's that's where that, that loan comes in. Uh, do you mind telling us how much uh, uh, you had to secure to buy all the plumbing equipment, the heating and cooling equipment, so you could do every job that might be requested of you when that phone starts ringing? Right. Well, to get us off the ground, um, we were right about $40,000 to cover the equipment, the vans, um, the permits, everything, the insurance, everything that we needed to get up and running. Um, we were probably a little bit over forty grand with the money that we put in ourselves, but I think forty grand would be a good solid number for what Caitlin was able to help us acquire through the banks. And, of course, uh, the job that, Caitlin, you guys will do with uh, people like uh, Dan and Mick, uh, doesn't end here because at some point, once they kind of get everything on track, and it sounds like they're already on their way because if they're getting calls 24-7, that's a good thing. Absolutely. But if they ever decide they want to expand and mm -hmm. say, hey, you know what, we've got so much business, we need to hire somebody else. Uh, Absolutely. The Small Business Development Center is there to show them how to do it. Definitely, definitely. We're happy to help all of our you know, startup businesses and existing clients as they're expanding, as they're growing, and they need to hire employees. Maybe they need to enhance their marketing. All of those areas we're happy to help our clients with um, and any existing business owner in McLean County. All right. We're, we're really out of time here, but I know you want to get uh, out the word about some upcoming events that the Small Business Development Center has on Absolutely. the schedule. Absolutely. Yeah. So we've got a couple of events coming up in June here. Um, June 13th, we'll have a seminar on how to start a business in Illinois. And uh, June 26th, we have a seminar for focused on um, business, or I'm sorry, uh, business franchising. So if you would like to franchise a business, um, how, uh, what are the, the benefits of doing that and how can that be done? So um, if you would like to find out more information about those, you're welcome to visit our website, again, iwu.edu slash sbdc. Caitlin, always a pleasure talking Thank to you. Thank you, Mark. And, uh, we appreciate your Dan time. Dan and Mick, congratulations on Thank you. Yes, DNM. Congratulations. You look for them, DNM Mechanical, if you've got a plumbing or heating and cooling problem and you don't have somebody already lined up who's uh, your regular Seasonal service maintenance. Person. It's good to get out and do maintenance. All right. Good luck, fellas. Thank, Thank you. you.